Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're going to be heading over to the Americas and to a brand new track in the 1.40 update which is Lake Louise. Now before I do that I'm just going to dive into the options and I'm going to make sure that my race difficulty is set to hard because that is the setting that we're using for all of the uh, these races right now. We then head over to Lake Louise and we've got three to do. We've got a pickup truck race We've got the uh, four wheel drive challenge 600 and a world rally challenge. So we're going to start off with the pickup truck and let's get into that race and see how we can do. So first of all, we're going to need to change the vehicle. I've only got one truck, so I'm going to go with that truck and my settings. I've got snow tires on because that's what we need for this particular race. I was using it in one of the lobby races recently, so I'm all set up and ready to go. Otherwise, I'm leaving much of the settings as they are stock so my output adjustment is 100 percent no ballast my power restrictor is 100 the transmission is normal uh, i have got the carbon brakes on this and racing brake pads i've got a racing air cleaner silencer and exhaust manifold i've also got my clutch and flywheel is racing so those are all of the updates that i normally do and i've also got stage one two and three of the weight reduction for this particular vehicle so let's enter the race and see how we do. This is the pickup truck race at Lake Louise Tryover Reverse. So the main aim for this one is just to keep things as smooth as possible. There's no traction control to worry about. There's no brake balance to worry about. So all I'm gonna do is pop the track map on and we're just gonna go for it. But all I've gotta do is just keep this smooth and as clean as possible. When you go out over these little rises and things, just try and keep it, uh, keep it straight turn in early and you'll get that back end around there we go just kind of steer that just to keep it together now these vehicles aren't particularly quick so you can slipstream which will help this is quite a quick corner but again when you get a slide just put plenty of opposite lock in try and catch it as quick as you can ideally I want to stay within the blue lines but this is quite slippery. This is one of the tight corners, so we'll break nice and early. I'll leave you to look at the um, the replay for where I'm braking, but very often on these snow tracks, it's a case of just reacting to what the vehicle is doing. But you can see we are already up into fourth place and we haven't even finished lap number one yet. So it should be a walk in the park for most people, this particular one pretty easy it looks like the yellow truck is up quite a fair way ahead so as we come in here on those yellow bins on the right hand side just uh, changing down and one of the things you might want to do on here is just keep your your gears relatively high because that does tend to keep the traction up a little bit more this one is pretty quick through here so just as you come underneath the bridge just slowing it down a little bit just leaving this one in fourth gear just to come through that corner quite nicely we've got a tight one coming up where are we going to break on this one probably on the the stand there with all the people on it all of the photographers got a big slide through there to so lots of corrections catch it as well so when you put your opposite lock in oh i got tagged on the back when you put your opposite lock in, you've got to remember to catch it the other way, just to get it straight. Don't put your opposite lock in and just leave it there. Keep it straight over the bump. Not the bump, the jump. Same with this one, just keep it straight. Just coming up in the fifth gear. I'm on the back of this car now. Again, this is one of the tighter corners. Just gonna try and go around the outside of him. Again, just soaring at the steering wheel. You can see the little red dot above the speedometer there just going left and right and left and right. It wasn't a great corner for me that one. So just take a little bit of speed off, just let it slide through there, catch it on the way out, try and carry the speed through the corner. We've got loads of time, look, we're only on lap number three of five. So the photographer's stand, just taking it down into third gear. 
Just getting that back end out a little bit. Whoa, just gone a little bit too much speed into that corner. Could have slowed down, down a lot more. But that does put us into first place. Now all I need to do is concentrate on the lap and build in a little bit of time to the vehicle behind. Again, keep it straight over the jumps. Very, very easy course this. So just watching for the bins on the left hand side, those those two little yellow bins changed up into fourth this time, just for a little bit of extra traction through here. As I said, staying in higher gear tends to give you a little bit more traction and a little bit easier. Uh, staying in a, a um, lower gear, like third through there, will give you um, quite a lot of sideways action. But sideways action will slow you down and you've got to catch it so you don't go around. So it looks great on camera, but not necessarily great for, for driving. So we've got the camera guys brake on that one in a straight line. Just leaving this one in fourth gear this time. And you can see how much smoother, smoother that is through there. Not sliding around as much. The cars are actually starting to catch up with me a little bit behind, so I'm just going to knock it down into third gear. So fourth wall, you'll have more control through the corners in fourth gear. Uh, in this particular vehicle, third gear is going to give you just that, a bigger slide, but it will give you, uh, looks like it's going to give you more power and speed out of the corners. So yellow bins, I'm just going to come down into third for this one. Just point the front at the corner, follow that around, just let the back end drift around a little bit, catch it on the, uh, as it straightens up, up into fourth. This is the last lap just as we go underneath the bridge. It's third, then up to fourth. Just correct, catch the back end as it's going around. You can see sometimes if you don't correct it quite quickly enough, it will keep going, you'll start fishtailing. You can get out of control that way. Again, the guys on the camera gantry on the right hand side there, slowed it down a bit more that time using third gear. As soon as you get on the power, the back end starts to go around. So you just catch that. We're going to come across the line with two seconds to spare so a very 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 easy race this one very easy to win once you get to grips we're just sliding the uh the wheels around then you find it very 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 easy so that is also one of the weekly challenges done for this week uh, we got a credit ticket hundred thousand for doing that particular challenge. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button to help me. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers at the moment. And if you're back for more, thank you ever so much for continuing to support my channel. For now, that's this one. I'll see you back at Lake Louise on another video coming very soon when we'll be in one of the rally cars, probably the Subaru Impreza. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.